Psst, want to know a secret? Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 20 hidden weapons in video games and telling you how to find them. For this list, we'll be considering how cunningly they've been hidden, how much fun they are to use, and the sheer satisfaction that comes from a job well done. Number 20, Arundite, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, Blood and Wine. Behold, your Arundite. Arundite is a pretty nifty piece of hardware, and as you'd expect, requires some dedication to track down. First up, either head to the notice boards in Toussaint or speak to the Hermit in Lac C'est la Vie to pick up the There Can Be Only One quest line. You then have to display the five chivalric virtues of generosity, compassion, honor, valor, and wisdom before returning to the Hermit and defeating him in single combat. Now bear it. And I trust this time you shall not lose it. Do so, and the best silver sword in the game is yours. An impressive blade whose damage increases by 10% with each mighty hit, and which guarantees a critical hit at full charge. <laughs> Number 19, Loud Locust, Saints Row 4. Ugh, I'm probably gonna be I am awesome! <laughs> to find the Men in Black inspired tiny pistol, head to New Baranek in Steelport, then track down to the Let's Pretend store. Head inside, then blast the employee's only door before proceeding to a hidden room where you'll find the faces of the game developers, which can be shot for some cool fireworks. However, if you check out the chair by the door, you'll find the real reward, the tiny pistol itself, a minuscule weapon that packs a hefty punch and which allows you to bring explosive doom to your enemies. Number 18, Windshear Sword, The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. If you've got a hankering to take on the mightiest foes that Skyrim has to offer, then the Windshear Sword is just the tool for the job. It has the ability to stagger any enemy you might face, up to and including dragons, so with good timing, you should be able to make short work of any battle. To find it, pick up the Hail Sithis quest on the Dark Brotherhood path, located on the ship known as the Kataraya. From the main deck, take the stairs at the ship's bow, where you'll see the bowsprit, a long wooden beam. Walk along it to discover your prize, the legendary Windshear Sword, and let the slaying begin. Number 17, Staff of Setep, Assassin's Creed Origins. It might not look like much, but the Staff of Setup is a powerful beast of a weapon that is well worth tracking down. It comes with a base 226 damage and can be upgraded to deal out 363 at its max level of 55. It's the perfect weapon for dealing with crowds of enemies, thanks to its long range, potential to cause bleeding, and its health on kill passive. All you have to do to get the staff is complete the level 29 rated Bad Faith side quest, which is accessed after you complete the Jaws of Sobek. Number 16, Phantom Bow, Battlefield 4. This is where it gets tricky. Battlefield 4 includes several challenges known as Phantom Assignments, tasking players with exploring maps in minute detail looking for obscure easter eggs. The final task rewards the dedicated player with a Phantom Bow, and requires all three previous assignments to be completed before finding at least one dog tag from the four Final Stand DLC maps. You then have to take a perilous elevator ride on the Hangar 21 map with three other players, who must each have a different tag and who must have their tags and camouflage equipped in a specific way. Survive this, and you can input this code here before interacting with some papers hidden on a shelf, which will finally unlock the assignment. Number 15, 
experimental MIRV, Fallout 3. Completing the Keller Family Refuge quest reveals a series of clues that will lead the canny player to the secure section of the National Guard Depot and the experimental MIRV. The MIRV itself is found at the end of a maze, and allows players to unleash eight mini-nukes at once for maximum devastation, making it appropriately over the top for most post-apocalyptic scenarios. However, the maze is notoriously difficult to navigate, and ammo is hard to come by, while also requiring a minimum of eight nukes in the player's inventory in order to fire, making this one for the most dedicated gamers only. Number 14, Magnopulsar, Far Cry 5. A weapon for those who like to cause havoc just for the sheer pleasure of it, the Magnopulsar is a wonderfully bonkers piece of kit that is well worth seeking out. At long ranges, it allows players to fling enemies and objects around willy-nilly, and if you want to get up close and personal, you can simply vaporize them. To grab it, just find Larry Parker at Parker Industries, west of Falls End, and complete the series of tasks he sets for you. Intriguingly, this involves both turkeys and crop circles. We'll leave you to discover how. Number 13, XP Caliber, Dying Light. Techland's open-world zombie-slaying parkour mashup is chock-full of unusual weapons, but one of the handiest is XP Caliber, a sword that dispatches the undead with a single swipe. It's not very durable though, and it's not possible to repair it, but you do get the blueprint to allow you to build your own, making it worth the effort to locate. Swim out to an island in the southeast of the slums area, near the fisherman's village, and you'll find a mummified body impaled on XP Caliber itself. Hold the action button for a couple of minutes, and the body will burn away, leaving you with your prize. Watch out, as the flames can still kill you, but after they've died down, grab the sword and have yourself some fun. Number 12, Hadouken. Mega Man X. Bringing a bit of Street Fighter style to Mega Man X sounds like a great idea to us, and fortunately, it's possible. The bad news is that it's ridiculously difficult, but if you fancy a challenge, give this one a try. First up, collect every single boss weapon, heart rank, energy tank, and weapon upgrade available. Once that's done, head to the Armored Armadillo level, take the minecart at the end, and as it falls, jump off the wall, then grab the energy upgrade you'll find there. Drop into the pit below, then rinse and repeat another four times. On the final run through, the energy upgrade will be replaced by the weapon, and you can bust out blue fireballs to your heart's content. Number 11, Fierce Deity's Mask, The Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask. <laughs> Tracking down this slick piece of kit turns the usually mild-mannered Link into the awesome avatar of the Fierce Deity God, who, as his name suggests, is quite a fearsome fella. It allows Link to wield a massive twin-bladed sword, which is even more impressive than the big Goron sword from Ocarina of Time. It also pumps out sword beams during boss battles, making it a pretty epic weapon. Appropriately enough, obtaining it is an equally epic task, as you'll need to complete all four mind temples on the moon and collect all 20 non-transformation masks before trading them into the four lunar children. Hard work, but given the power that Link now has access to, we think you'll agree it's worth it. Number 10, Psychosis Gun, Perfect Dark. What are you waiting for? Too good. <laughs> Perfect Dark loves its unique set of weaponry. Each with primary and secondary fire, they all have multiple uses. Then, there's the Psychosis Gun. 
capable of dealing no damage, has no secondary fire, and has no unlimited ammo from cheats. So, what makes it special enough to be on this list? I got a clear shot. Why me? Well, it turns every enemy shot by its darts into allies. Your new allies aren't exactly stealthy, but then they do all the killing for you. While it is available in one of the secret missions, the only means of obtaining the gun from main missions is to beat Chicago Stealth on the perfect agent difficulty setting in under two minutes. Good luck with that one, agent. Number 9, Alien Blaster, Fallout 3 and Fallout 4. Fallout has it all, a 1950s futuristic blend and mutants everywhere. Most of Fallout's weapons are makeshift, thrown together firearms of a bygone era. Everything is human-made, except for one firearm. Located southeast of the Super Mutant Run clifftop shacks, you can find a crashed UFO and are able to salvage a powerful alien blaster from one of the dead aliens. The blaster returned in Fallout 4, once again from a UFO that crashes on the peninsula northwest of Diamond City. Only this time, you need to track a survivor of the crash to a nearby cave and kill him to take the weapon. Number 8. Infinite Rocket Launcher, Resident Evil Series The name speaks for itself, a rocket launcher with infinite ammo. Seen in nearly every Resident Evil game, this powerhouse of a weapon can typically take down any enemy and almost every boss in one shot. Nearly every game also has an unlockable version or an upgrade that gives you infinite ammo, though the requirements are always different. For example, Resident Evil 4 requires you to beat the game and then purchase the weapon from the merchant for 1 million pesetas. Resident Evil 5 requires you to beat the game in less than 5 hours. And Resident Evil 2 Remake requires you to get an s ranking on hardcore difficulty as Leon. We'd go through the rest, but we'd be here all day. That was for our fallen brothers. Number 7. Real Mega Buster. Dead Rising. Many Mega Man fans enjoyed pretending to be their favorite digital hero with the toy Mega Buster in Dead Rising. However, if you manage to kill a whopping 53,594 zombies in just one playthrough, your zombie killing prowess will be rewarded with the real Mega Buster. Just like Mega Man's, you shoot out giant energy blasts, making it the most powerful ranged weapon in the game. 53,594 zombies may seem like a lot, but with this thing, it'll feel just like the gore-filled spree has just begun. Number 6. Ray Gun. Call of Duty World at War. Most Call of Duty Zombies fans will recognize the Ray Gun instantly. A weapon hidden away in the randomized mystery box, it is very powerful against the Horde of the Undead. What most don't realize, however, was that the ray gun is also hidden in the World at War's campaign. Shit, more to pin down. Pin down. Get on those MGs and tear them up! Hidden away underground by strange statues, you can acquire it by puddle hopping in the mission Little Resistance. Working exactly like a dozen zombies, it easily kills enemy soldiers in one hit, even able to take down a tank in just two shots. Target, target. Number 5. Chain Chomp. Bayonetta 2. Rodan is always happy to help out his favorite customer, beating up demons and forging them into weapons for her to kick more ass. After beating the game on the second hardest difficulty, third climax, a familiar tune will play on this LP as Rodan brings you back something special. Straight out of Mario comes the Chain Chomp, a leg-based weapon, it is chained to one of Bayonetta's legs. Surprisingly strong, the Chain Chomp easily staggers and knocks back her enemies, even attacking on its own to help her out. True to its dog-like nature, it can even sniff out treasure. Number 4. Cluckshot, Gears of War 3. Epic Games loves to make its weapons ridiculous and extremely violent. 
Known very well for such weapons as the Lancer, the chainsaw on an assault rifle, it shouldn't be a surprise that they made some other ridiculous arsenal. Hidden on Act 4 on insane difficulty, you'll have to knock a bunch of ammo crates down and interact with the pirate chicken. If done correctly, the chicken will return and grant you 4 cluck shots. While nothing special damage-wise, they are basically a replacement for the boom shot, shooting out explosive chickens instead. Guess the dudes in Gears love their eggs scrambled. Number 3. The Scarab Gun, Halo 2. Scarabs are an extremely powerful Covenant tank. Piloted by the Lekgolo, the same creatures that make up the Hunter, this is one vehicle that can't be jacked and must be destroyed. However, in Halo 2, after completing some insane maneuvers, you will find a strange plasma rifle on top of one of the skyscrapers. Upon closer inspection, it is revealed to be the Scarab Gun, capable of firing the same giant green energy blast that gave you so much trouble right in the palm of your hands. The Covenant won't, well, they will know what hit them, but they won't be happy about it. Number 2. Hand Cannon, Dead Space 2. When you're fighting necromorphs, most people will take plasma weapons to cut through their appendages. Isaac Clarke prefers a giant red foam finger. Appropriately named the Hand Cannon, this one-shot infinite ammo weapon is awarded to the best of players who manage to finish Dead Space 2's hardcore mode. In this mode, not only are the Necromorphs stronger and item drops scarce, but you are only allowed 3 saves, no New Game Plus carryovers, and no checkpoints. Those who do manage to acquire this will probably be hearing Isaac going bang 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 and pew 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 for the rest of the game. Want more video game content? Check out our gaming channel Mojo Plays and discover games and ideas you never knew existed. With more lists, breakdowns, and our latest series, Arcade Roulette. Justin and John are in! Oh. Wait, is that Porky Pig? Mm. There's a lot of things being ripped off in this game. Number 1. Mr. Toots. Red Faction, Armageddon. Yes, we know, Mr. Toots was heavily advertised and put out in trailers before Armageddon was even launched. However, it is only available in a secret area or after you beat the game, so it still counts. Who else but Volition would decide that a weapon should be a live baby unicorn that farts out explosive rainbow lasers? <coughs> its goofy appearance is only outmatched by the sheer destructive force of its rainbow farts. In a game where destruction is paramount, Mr. Toots makes it easy and silly. He's not getting up from that. In the mood for more awesome gaming content? Be sure to check out this video here on Mojo Plays. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.